वट आर शेल्स सब शेल्स एंड और बेटल्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री According to Bohr's atomic model there are fixed paths around the nucleus where electrons revolve he called these paths as shells are energy levels shells are energy levels are represented by small n for example this is first shell a energy level so we write n is equal to 1 This is second shell a energy level so we write n is equal to 2 This is the third shell so we write n is equal to 3 This is the fourth shell so we write n is equal to 4 Also remember that first shell is known as a k shell second shell is known as a l shell third shell is known as a m shell and fourth shell is known as a n shell To sum up this whole concept we can write as When n is equal to one, it is first shell a k shell. When n is equal to two, it is second shell a l shell. When n is equal to three, it is third shell a m shell. When n is equal to four, it is fourth shell a n shell. Now pause the video and write it down. Secondly, every shell is divided into sub shells or sub energy levels. sub shells are denoted by spd and f so k l m and n are main shells while spd f are sub shells within main shells the first are k shell has only one sub shell s the second are l shell has two sub shells s and p the third are m shell has three sub shells s p and d while the fourth are n shell has four sub shells s p d f the most easy trick to remember the sub shells is first shell has only one sub shell second shell has two sub shells third shell has three sub shells and fourth shell has four sub shells secondly when you go from the first shell to the fourth shell add one sub shell successively like s then sp then spd and then spdf now i write n is equal to 1 and we know that it is k shell and k shell has only one sub shell i mean s here i write one with this s because this s sub shell belongs to first a k shell secondly n is equal to 2 we know that it is l shell and there are two sub shells n8 s and p i write two with this s and with this p because this s and p belong to second shell thirdly i write n is equal to 3 it is m shell and we know that there are three sub shells n8 s p and d i write 3 with s p and d because they belong to third shell fourthly i write n is equal to 4 it is n shell and we know that it has four sub shells s p d and f i write 4 with s p d and f because they all belong to fourth shell so if i write 3s and 4s here can you guess the difference between them well 3 means third shell and s means sub shell so 3s means s is the sub shell of the third main shell r m shell similarly 4s means S is the sub shell a fourth shell or n shell finally let me teach you that what are orbitals well the regions of sub shells where probability of finding electrons is maximum are called orbitals or uh, you can say that these are the three dimensional paths where chances of finding electrons are maximum
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एस सब शेल हैज वन और बेटल पी सब शेल हैज थ्री और बेटल्स एंड डी सब शेल हैज फाइव और बेटल्स to summarize my lecture we learn that there are different shells around the nucleus like when n is equal to 1 it is k shell and it has one sub shell 1s when n is equal to 2 it is l shell and it has two sub shells 2s and 2p when n is equal to 3 it is m shell and it has three sub shells 3s 3p and 3d when n is equal to 4 it is n shell and it has four sub shells 4s 4p 4d and 4f this was all about shells sub shells and orbitals